Are you still experiencing ankle pain despite having therapy for weeks and weeks and weeks? Are you now considering corticosteroid injections or even surgery because your ankle pain is really limiting your lifestyle? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you three key areas that could be contributing to your ankle pain. And if those three areas are not being looked at or treated, that could be why your ankle pain is persisting. So here at My Favorite Physio, we see lots of people who come in complaining of foot and ankle pain. Some of those people would have seen lots of therapists before they eventually came to us here at My Favorite Physio. We find that there's actually three key areas that are contributing to their foot and ankle pain. And often those three areas are not even looked at by any of those therapists previously. So I thought I'll jump in and share with you those three key areas so that if you are experiencing ankle pain and you are seeing a therapist, perhaps you could speak to them and let them know to look at these three key areas. The first is your shin muscles. Very commonly when people are getting foot and ankle pain, they will say to the therapist, the pain is here. And that is all the therapist ever looks at. They don't look at the shin muscles above the ankle. Now, often those shin muscles are really, really tight and they are causing pain to your ankle every time your foot is moving and you're taking steps to walk. So here at Microphysio, Physio, we often would be treating all those muscles on the shin bone in the front of your leg. And we would even go around to the back of the calf muscles and have a look at them. And often they're really tight and sore too. So we would use our radio shockwave therapy machine that you see behind us to treat the shin muscles in front and the calf muscles on the back. The second area of pain that could be contributing to that ankle pain is the tendons. So the tendons that sit from your toes and goes up and continues into the shin muscles. Those tendons are often overworked, inflamed and sore and swollen. Often we find that that area on the top of the foot is not looked at either. And if you actually look at those areas and worked on the swelling and inflammation in those tendons, they are actually really sore. And if you could release all of that inflammation, it would really reduce your ankle and foot pain. For that, we often use either manually massaging through those tendons, or for people who are really, really sore, we would use our low intensity pulse ultrasound machine to massage that area, reduce the swelling, reduce the inflammation, promote tendon healing so that they reduce that ankle pain. The third area of pain is specifically in those ligaments. Very commonly, people would have a lot of swelling sitting on the outside of their ankle, and they're used to the idea that their ankle is big. In reality, it's scar tissues and ligament strain that's been happening ongoing every time they're walking and moving. So we would then be reducing that swelling with our low intensity pulse ultrasound and then getting right in there to work into those ligaments to break down scar tissues and promote circulation and healing in the ankle itself. So if your therapist isn't looking at your muscles on the front of your leg, on the back of your leg, the tendons that go down to your foot, as well as the specific ligaments and swelling within your ankle, that may be why your ankle pain is persisting despite having therapy. Speak to your therapist about it, or if you would like to, speak to one of our expert physiotherapists here at My Fred Physio. Why don't you give us a ring on 02-97-904233. Find out how we can help you overcome your ankle pain so you can get back to active living pain-free. And if you know somebody out there who's been nursing an ankle pain and pretty much resigned to the fact that they feel they have to put up with ankle pain for the rest of their lives, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.